Hi, I'm Carly Kloss, and I just made an amazing website at Wix.com. Hey guys, Ben Vic here, back with another vlog. It is a vlog time, vlog number 43, if you are using mathematics in a linear fashion. Um, Vlog for 53. 53, let's do it. Vlog 53. Well overdue vlog. I've been on holiday, uh, all that stuff, so I've been doing reviews. It's also the school holiday, so it's really hard to get like an hour free to do one, whereas a review would only take half an hour of camera time. So uh, I've been doing mainly reviews and I've been away and all that stuff. So definitely a long overdue vlog. I've also got some actual stuff in the vlog. I've actually got some things I do need to cover in the vlog, which is never a bad thing, never a bad thing. Uh, what am I vaping on? I might talk about this a bit more later, but this is the SQ from Signature Mods or Signature Tips, as I used to know them. I think they do signature mods and signature tips now. Um, but they've they've been making mods a long time and they have made this amazing squonker, the SQ. Um, really, really nice. Really, really nice. Max squonker, uh, very cleverly done. Everything's bespoke. The bottle caps bespoke, the buttons bespoke, the doors. Uh, it's got like a two door system so you can open the back to push your bottle out or your battery out. Very well put together and very nice size as well. Very nice size. I really like this squonker. On top got the Vaporius uh, from Watofo. It's not like ideal for squonking. It doesn't actually squonk the juice up very well. Um, but it's a very nice vape. And it's good, all good. Inside the bottle, inside the RDA, the juice I'm vaping is Nata. Uh, which is Portuguese custard tarts. And it was sent to me by my good friend John from justadnick.co.uk. Um, really like it. I really like it. One of the best juices I've tried all year that uh, I hadn't tried before. Before this year. Better just get on with it because, like I say, actual stuff. And my review queue is just... It's just exploded. Um, so I'm on the bones of my uh, bottom... <laughs> Got to be careful what I say now in this current YouTube climate. Um, I don't remember what we were talking about in the last vlog, but here are some comments from from the previous vlog. That's what we do. We read some comments from the previous vlog. I'm going to have to only do a few, though, because, like I say, lots to do. Um, the Vaping Postman commented, we were talking about this, and I said because of the TPD, it's only one mil on either side. Um, and he said, two mil each side on the AH Pro may unscrew the blocks inside. So when you get it, it's got these metal blocks inside, and they're purely there to keep it down to one mil on each side. Uh, so you can unscrew those, kind of, and jimmy them out. And uh, it's a much better vape once you've... Uh, once you've removed those blocks, you've got two mil on each side, the juice can run about freely, which is important in an RDTA. Uh, we not going to talk about this later, but it's still in the queue. <laughs> it's still in the queue. Um, it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, but yeah, he's right. Yeah, remove the blocks and all good stuff. If you do want to see a review of that, you might be waiting a while here. So it might be worth checking out the Vaping Postman for uh, the review of the Fusion Kit from EH Pro. Um, Tenshi Techni Techni 3? Techni? I don't know. Sorry, mate. Uh, he, he says, we, I think we were slightly um, tripping on Rip Trippers a bit in the previous vlog uh, because he says, when are you going to rap? That's the reason I subscribed to this channel. Just hope, just in hope that someday you would do a rap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there are other vaping channels where you can see a rap. Uh, I know Dean did a cover of Tenacious D, or like a spoof of Tenacious D or something, it was a thing. Uh, so there, there are vaping tubers that sing, so check those out. Uh... Oh, one thing we talked about was the Facebook group thing. Um, we talked about the Facebook group and I said, I just would like a place, just us guys, uh, a Facebook group, but not like uh, one for promoting myself, just one for us to chat. Um, I don't want to exclude anyone, and it would just create a vibe. I, I I went off the idea. Keith 
M said, group, yes, I spoke no. Uh, and I, quite a few people were like, no, Facebook and stuff like that. So, um, But a lot of people were with it. But what I would say is, in the ev link, there's a link in every description, and it's a link to just add me as a friend on Facebook. And feel free to just add me as a friend on Facebook. Uh, you know, it's not an intrusive thing or anything. I just put the videos up there, put pictures of new things that have come in, general chatter, what I'm watching, uh, just just normal Facebook stuff. I'm just a normal person on Facebook, uh, just like everyone else. So you can just add me as a friend, and um, that's a good place to start. So the group idea is not gone forever, definitely. Uh, but um, as a starting point, just add me. Just add me on Facebook. Link in the description, literally to my profile. Just click add friend. Good times. Good times. Um, so that was a thing. Oh, let me just close that. Oh, for that JCB starts up again. Um, loads of people talking about the group thing. Oh, Joytech actually commented on the vlog. I can't believe they watched the vlogs. Uh, but Joytech themselves commented on the vlog and said, Hi Richard, actually the Evic Primo SE has the same dimensions with the Evic Primo Mini. Also, the VT software for the Cuboid Pro will be added on the website soon. So, yes, yeah, so that touchscreen one, uh, the Cuboid Pro, I think it was called, the touchscreen one, uh, there's some new firmware on there which does improve certain bits uh, and bats. So, check that out. Uh, hopefully a reviewer will do an updated look at you know with it with the firmware hopefully um or I'll have just waited like they should have and, and got the firmware uh but yeah so that's the thing and yes the so the primo s e is the same size as the primo mini yeah good times thanks for watching joytech <laughs> uh l ashton i think it's laura ashton i'm going out on a limb there uh, I like your idea for the decision tree to find your ideal mods. Be especially helpful for new vapors. I've used a similar tool for finding a suitable e-liquid on a vape shop website. Uh, yes, that idea. <laughs> so that idea that uh, we were talking about in the previous vlog was uh, a decision tree where it says what's your budget, what's your style of vaping, how many watts, um, RDA tank, whatever, mod. Uh, battery life requirements, and it just goes, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then it goes, these are the suitable mods for you. Uh, and it was like a thing. It was like an idea. It's not an idea. I'm not going to do it. I haven't got time to do this. <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, it was just an idea. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, so someone's already done a juice one by the sounds of it. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, G Shire, G Shire. Double thumbs up for G Shire, a good friend of mine. Uh, great vod vlog, Vic. The private group is a good idea. Catch up at Vape Fest for a few cheeky bees. We, I did see you at Vape Fest, mate. But I, because I was going on a holiday, literally that night, I only got to stay to like the middle of the afternoon on the Saturday. I went Friday night for the frivolities, and then yeah, I was only there to like mid afternoon Saturday, so we didn't get a chance to properly hang out. Um, hopefully soon though. Are you going to expo the return? Um, yeah, so that's the thing, that's the thing. Uh, let's just see if there's any more very important ones. Uh, okay, here we go. DNN, DNNS84, the famous DNNS84, um, from DJ LSB fame, <laughs> says, uh, just a random question. Why do you think the makers of cheaper mods don't get into regulated squonkers? From what I gather from different forums and live chats, there's a huge demand for them. And how hard can it be? Take the Smart Sharon, for example. Why doesn't the Smart Sharon do what the Lost Vape did with the Therion and just remove a battery and put a bottle in? Um, yeah, and I said, I said back to him, I did a comment back, and I said, I've been talking to cheaper mod makers for nearly a year about making regulated squonkers. Um, it was up, but it was only this summer that they realised the size of the market. So I, I genuinely do expect to see a plethora of regulated squonkers in autumn. So September, I don't know the order of the months. <laughs> um, what's it go? Uh, July, August, September, October, November, December. So the September, October, November bit, I expect to see. I know that's weird that I don't know the older months. It's just a little blind spot. Um, but yeah, I, around that time, I expect to see a 
dirge, a deluge of regulated squonkers, so do not fear, just hold on to your hat. If you've got the extra pennies though, and you want to save up, the drone from Lost Vape is fantastic, looks fantastic, works, does what it says, and like you say, the Therion is a thing, um, but yes, that's a thing, that's a thing. Okay, so, now, we could go one of two ways now, uh, hold on a sec, I'm sorry if you can hear that digger, um, Hopefully not too loud. Um, so we can go one of two ways now. What way we're going to go is the actual vlog stuff. The stuff I need to talk about in the vlog. So I got sent this. This lovely, lovely lipstick uh, from Artery. So this is the Lady Q from Artery. And I said, I'll take a look at it. I'm not making a standalone video. Uh, I, I will definitely mention it in a vlog. So this is it. So it comes like a lipstick thing. You turn it upside down and you pop it in like that. And then it's got like a fancy touch pad at the bottom. Huh? Huh? And it vapes like that. <laughs> Actually, it vapes very nice. It's got adjustable airflow here. You spin this here like this. It's got different settings. Oh, it's got different settings. Right, that's the harshest one, so that's the... That's the mouth-to-lung one, and it's a genuine mouth-to-lung. You turn it one space, and you've got a big lunger. Here's the thing with this. It's, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. People might want to use this. Um, I, it certainly will be very well protected in, in your handbag when it's like that. You know, that because no harm can come to it like that. Um, the tank works surprisingly well. Wick's really nice. The flavor's decent. You saw the vapor production. It's a thing. It totally kind of works, you know. Um, it's, it's not a bad vape at all. Um, I do have a couple of gripes, though. Um, it's When it's on, it is incredibly easy just holding it in your hand to sort of set that fire button off. Um which is weird, and also, it it kind of doesn't sit super flush in the thing. It's it's kind of it's kind of quite a lot of play, and I guess that's inevitable with the design. Um, but I don't know. Even when you put it to your mouth, it kind of you know, there's a bit of play there, I wish that wasn't there, and I don't know if it's just mine, it often it seems to be, um, Rip Tripper said it was amazing, um, but five clicks on, five clicks off, it's, it's, it's a decent vape though, and it will stay very nicely protected in your bag like that, I think it's quite natty, I don't know if that's how you capture the female audience though, you know, giving them an object they were already familiar with, um, a tiny bit insulting, I don't know, um, and, yeah, let's leave that there before we get ourselves into trouble, but, um, it kind of works really well, it kind of works kind of well, um, and it's kind of an idea, uh, maybe, they just, if they just perfect this connection thing, just a bit better, I think it's the thing, uh, so that's the Lady Q, uh, not, not bad, <laughs> not bad, not bad, you know, not bad, the fire button's very fancy, um, so that's the Lady Q. Uh, Asmodus have sent me a few things, but they also sent me um, this, which I'm not going to review, because uh, I think it's been out a while, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but this is the Minikin 1.5 Reborn. Reborn. So it's the Minikin 1.5 from Asmodus, but uh, they've put the board and the touchscreen from the V2, so it's now like your whole... Touch screen malarkey, you know. Um, I think it's cracking. I really liked the form factor of 1.5 when it came out, and I used the 1.5 for a very long time. I thought it was a very, very, very good mod, and I really liked it. And I liked the V2 as well. The V2, the form factor was even better, the ball was even better, and the touch screen worked very well on the V2, and I was very pleased with that. So, this is good. This is a good thing. Um, I don't get why they've done it. 
I don't get why they've done it at all. Because uh, the V2's a thing, the 1.5's a thing, they're both fine. Uh, but, it works fantastic. If this, if you need this, and you like, if you really like to, the touch screen on the V2, but you like the form factor on the 1.5, then get this, no problem. I have no qualms recommending this. This is really good, a really good mod. Um, really comfy, really like the rubber finish. Uh, I've always liked the Minikins. I've always liked the Minikins, and this is another one, and it's fantastic. And it works fantastic. And their boards are very good, actually, now. Yes, Modus boards are very good. Um, so, yeah, I have no complaints. Nothing further to add, really. It's a fantastic mod. No fault, no problems at all. The Minikin 1.5 Reborn is awesome. Really great. It's really great. I'm not going to review it, though. Just cause, cause why? Um, well, not because why, just because. I'm just not. A long queue, long queue. Wasn't expecting it, etc. Um, so that is that. Also, have I got one in here? No. Got one in here? No. <laughs> I've got one in here, though. Okay, also, uh, Pegasus. Pegasus from the Pegasus Vapor Academy uh, got in touch. He's been working on an RTA called the Slider. I've got one here. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't got into it yet, mate. Sorry, it's, it's just going to take time. Fogworks, USA.com. Fog, W-O-R-X, USA.com. Uh, that's who he's been working with on this RTA. Um, I haven't got into it yet at all, mate, but uh, Pegasus from the Pegasus Faber Academy has worked on that RTA, and that is in the queue. Um, but he also sent, because he's... It seems a nice fella. Uh, he also sent me some of his batteries. Now, you may or may not be aware of these. Um, basically, a way back. Um, he's, he's got a shop as well as his YouTube channel, Pegasus Vapor Academy Shop. And uh, a, a, and he's a bit of a battery uh, nerd. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. He's a bit of an, a battery nerd. And he did uh, some really informative series of battery videos. And at the end of those videos, he said, it's time to do a battery. And he did his own set of batteries. And these, I've picked up the same one twice. And these, and that is what he's done. He's done his own batteries. And he sent me some. Now, uh, he's done a three or four grades of these batteries, all for different things. They're ideal for different things. So, He's got one here, which is perfect for mechs, and this is the Type D, the Type D one there. And uh, this one has 2,000 mark, but it has 25 amp continuous. Uh, so super for mechs, that one. Uh, and that's what I've been using in my squonkers, and they've been great. Oh, I don't want to do that. i put that there. Um, and they've been great, absolutely brilliant. He's also got this one here, which is only 20 amp continuous, but actually has 2,000 500 ma. So that's really good for your dual series regulated mods and things like that. You know, you want the battery life, but you need that amp drawer as well because they pull quite a lot of amps and stuff like that. And then he's got as well, he's got, so that one was Type C. Uh, he's got a Type A as well that he sent me and that one is really high ma, but really low continuous. So that's ideal for if you're a mouth to lung vapor, sub 30 watts, etc. You know, you'll get that really long battery life. You don't need such a high overhead on your amps. Uh, so these are really good. So I just wanted to give these a mention as well. Uh, next thing, um, things that just don't end up getting reviews things that don't make the cut or they go on too long or it just doesn't work out for whatever reason um, are, I'm going to just talk about in the vlog, I'm going to finally surmise in the vlog and just move on from because uh, certain things just end up getting tangled up and or they aren't great, aren't really worth it and all that sort of stuff um, so on that note on that note this the Viva Kita uh, Fusion 2, that is this, uh, this from them, now, tiny bit flooded because I haven't used it for a little bit, but what is it, it is an all-in-one system from them, with a big old battery, uh, screen on the top, regulated uh, up to 50 watts uh, and yeah it comes with a surprisingly uh, interesting coil head a 0.25 coil head uh, that just gives you that sort of nice 40 to 50 watt vape 
there was a bit of a confusion on their website for a while, and that's what held it back originally. Um, they had two mods called the Fusion 2. Uh, and they seemed to sort it out in the end, but this is the Fusion 2 uh, all-in-one kit from Viva Kita, which I believe is the same company as... Uh, X Taste, I think. I think it's the same company as X Taste. No, Vaptio. Vaptio. It's the same people as Vaptio. Uh, Viva Kita is like their European arm or something like that. But there's nothing wrong with this at all. Another thing that put me off reviewing it was it's not widely available. Um, it's, re it's really pointless me doing a video that, and then you guys, if you like it, you can't go and get it. And it's not easy to go and get, um, to be honest. But fire button here, up and down on the side, USB charging, built-in battery, uh, 2100 mAh, um, screen on top. Uh, and yeah, it's got this uh, very interesting sort of coil configuration. So you just lift the whole thing out, you remove the bottom half, and you drop it back in. Um, and I've had quite a nice experience with this, to be honest. The airflow can be absolutely massive, or you can close it down a bit, like that. Every time you lift it in and out, kind of floods, because you've got that sort of low wattage technology of the dunking the coil head in, but you've got it with 0.25 coil heads, so you've got the big wick holes, and it, it sort of instantly overly wicks it. <laughs> But it's absolutely fine. Uh, five clicks off. It's got your navigation. You've got all that stuff going on here. And it's really solid. Really well put together. Really nicely built thing. Um, so it's cool and that. It's cool and that. But it's not widely available in the UK. I certainly haven't seen it. Um, there was a bit of confusion with the name. But it is called the Fusion 2. Uh, and from Viva Kita. So check it out if you're interested in that. I would say it, it would be a very nice pub vape. Quite weighty. But it, it would be a very nice pub vape. I couldn't recommend it to it and smoke or turn into vaping because the coil heads are too rowdy. Um, but I'll put that over here now as well. Now it's done. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty good. I'm uh, not pulling up any trees and it wasn't worth a review. Look, I've got a lot of stuff here. It is what it is. I can only do so much. I am just an amateur. It's just a hobby. Uh, there's only so much I can do here. Um, I've got a really long queue and I don't have time to do mods that aren't available to the people watching the videos. So, that's a thing. Uh, so that is that. And this is going to become a, a regular thing on the vlogs. Me showing you things that aren't going to get standalone videos. It's going to become more and more frequent. Um, there's a couple of mods I've got my eye on that I'm probably just going to cover in a vlog already. So, it's probably going to be like that more and more. As I get more and more picky, more and more fussy. But more and more people want me to take a peek at their stuff. So... That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Not complaining. That's just the way it is. I think it makes the vlogs more interesting because you're going to see some genuine stuff that you wouldn't see if you didn't watch the vlog. Uh, so, all good. All good. <sighs> Let's just relax a second. Uh, you know, <laughs> camera troubles, never fun. Um, okay, next. Next thing. Next thing. Next, 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 next thing. Right, next thing. Last thing that I have to cover off on the vlog. Uh, a lovely, lovely company uh, called Ohm Brew. Ohm Brew. Uh, Badass Blends. Uh, it's a company out of Belfast, Ireland. Uh, they sent me loads of juice. Can you see it on here? All this, all this here. They sent me these bottles of juice. They're full line, I believe. I didn't ask for the full line. I said it would just get a mention in the vlog. Um, but they sent it, they sent it. So, uh, look at this. Look at this mat that they sent as well. And a really nice t-shirt that I'm really enjoying. Um, perfect size and everything. Uh, so they've got this. They've got this. They've got all these juices. So they've got freaky fruits, whippy wafer, spiced up strawberry, loco lemon tart, salted caramel, blue... Ooh, salted caramel. I, need to, I haven't tried that one yet. Um, blue slush, punch pineapple, tangy twister, freaky fruits... Uh, and they're on Instagram. Uh, if you check my Instagram out, at vapingv1ck, um, you will see uh, a picture of this juice. And in that picture, I both tagged them, these people, check them out, but also the vendors currently stocking it in the UK uh, are tagged in that Instagram as well. So if you're interested in these, uh, it's one of these where you get a bottle of 50ml. 
zero nick uh, with 10 mil of space in the bottle and you put your own nick in or you put a nick shot what have you it's one of those jobbies um so that's the thing that's cool isn't it uh the the ones that i've tried so far are this one freaky fruits uh which is really nice it reminds me of uh, a juice that you wouldn't know of, so it's pointless. Um, <laughs> but uh, they all sort of have a, like a punch to them. They all sort of have like a kick to them. Uh, this so this one's got uh, loads of like uh, berries and stuff, but also has uh, like a, a punch of like colada or something like that. Um, the tangy twister has a tangy one. Uh, Loco lemon tart has a. I've tried that one. That has a has a really strong lemon punch on it. Uh, spiced up strawberry, you see what I mean? So they're taking a nice flavour and then giving it an extra kick. Um, the one that I would recommend straight off the bat from trying it already uh, is uh, Whippy Wafer. I've uh, I've had a really nice chug on this one, as you can see, uh, and it's colouring up. Lovely, lovely colour. Um, Whippy Wafer, really, really nice. Got it in one of my swankers right now. Really, really nice. Uh, can't speak too much to the others, so I might come back to them. Uh, I'll put the links in. This, I'll try to put links in the description. Uh, but own brew juice. If you're Irish, if you're not the one percent of people that are in Ireland that watch my videos, um, not one percent of Irish people. One percent of the people that watch me are Irish, according to Google stats. Um, so if you're in that one percent, get behind one of your own juice companies. Uh, a lovely Belfast uh, juice. Uh, obviously, if you're in the UK, get it as well. But uh, yeah, so from what I've tried, quite nice so far. Very unique flavors. Uh, they've put a, like a twist on every single flavor. Nice, nice packaging, cool branding, really cool Instagram uh, page. Um, a lot of juice companies could take a, a leaf from that book. Um, so yeah, so they are cool. Uh, Own Brew Juice, uh, links in the description. Uh, really nice, really cool. Thank you to them for sending that on. Right. Look at this. Are you ready for this? This is my notes. This is sort of what I... It's not, my, so, it's not sort of my notes for the vlog, but this is just my entire vaping organiser. I know some people have very fancy ways of organising their stuff. So, this is how I do it. Uh, spoilers this, really, isn't it? Um, so, uh, 53 is the next vlog. So, there's a line down the middle. This is anything I need to remember to mention in a vlog in the vlog, which I'm doing now. I've done that list now, uh, and this is the queue, and these are all the things I need to review, <laughs> ideally in the next two weeks. <laughs> uh, it's not physically possible because it's like 15 things, um, and then there's, you see, so it gets a line through it when I've done it, and a little dot if I've put a picture of it on Instagram. There's vaping review tips. If there's any reviewers watching. Um, as, uh, there are much better ways of doing it but that's just how I do it my only point to that was look at the size of the queue man it's gone ridiculous and it's getting out of control and I'm being really picky about what I review it's just ah uh, so yeah so that's the thing fusion kit is top of the list it's not going to be next though uh, I've got a few things to do first uh, but that's a thing I've mentioned it a lot of times uh, it's got two uh, wat wattage things you can c control each coil independently and it's an RDTA on top a very interesting bit of kit hoping to make a video at some point we'll see uh, X taste nano I'm not showing you that again that's long overdue a review uh, and then I've got this as well this is not the order the videos are coming out I could tell you in the next one the next one's the aspire speeder kit and I'll show you that in a sec um, this is the little brother to the to this one, the Icon uh, i200. This is its little equivalent. This is the 80 watt version of that. Still a built-in battery. Still cheap as chips. Still very well made. Uh, still with the uh, Milo V4 on top, but this is the 22 mil version. Um, they're both really good if you're on a budget. If you're on a budget. You need to get up and running with some sub ohm action. Then they're they're ideal. Very ideal. Uh, so that's the Icon 80. And then I got this mad thing in from Joytech, who are probably watching. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, E-Key. Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Uh, the E-Key from Joytech. Uh, what is it? It's a mod that comes with uh, one of their uh, fantastic pro car tanks. Uh, it's a mod that 
was designed on, apparently was designed, inspired by a, a key one of these new smart keys that the really expensive cars like BMW and stuff have. Um, so it's based on a smart key, like a fancy smart key. Um, I don't want to say too much about this because this is this is very soon going to get a review. The tank is good. We know this. The tanks are good. I really like these Procore tanks. Uh, so that's a given. The actual mod uh, is kind of a bit mad. It's got a touchy button thing here for navigating the menu. Is that working? Interesting times. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so it's got this thing here that's like a touchy thing. And then you've got your up and down here, and you've got your fire here. And a range of colours, as always, and all that sort of stuff. It's got one thing, which I might as well tell you now, is an absolute deal breaker for me. And it, uh, pure madness, in my opinion. It's got a rounded bottom. Not only a rounded bottom, but the red bits here are higher than the black bit. So it's resting on, when you sit it down, it's resting on just those two feet, uh, these wobbly feet. And it's like the policeman in Noddy. <laughs> it just it just doesn't, it won't stay up. Uh, I'll try and put it down. <laughs> it just, sorry if you're wearing headphones and that was loud. Um, you have to just lay it down flat. Uh, I've never had a mod before that I've had to lay it down flat. Oi, oi, oi. It's got some very cool things on it, though. What juice is this? I wanted to do a firmware upgrade on it, update on it, before I review it. So it's coming very soon for review, but I need to do that update. Because um, I think there's a few kinks that they'll have fixed by now. Um, but it's got some very interesting stuff on it. It's got a nicotine delivery limiter. So you say how strong your juice is. You say how much nicotine you're wanting to have that day or that morning. And it will keep a tab on how much it believes you've in Tekken. <laughs> believes that you've uh, taken on. And uh, it will say, you know, you've hit the limit that you said, the nicotine you'd like to get. And it's got other cool things. It's got a very cool screen as well. You can see the blue and the red circles. They mean things. Um, yeah, so it's a fancy mod. It's got a lot going on. I'm just going to lay it on its back now. So that's the E-key. The E-key. Uh, I talked about this a tiny bit already. Um, basically, if you're looking for a mech squonker, look no further than this. Unless you want a 3D one or a wooden one. This metal one is superb, superb. Uh, I have, I'm very lucky. I've got two very nice metal mech squonkers. The SVBF from Nigel Moxon, uh, SVB mods. Check them out. I'll try and put a link in the description. That's a brilliant squonker from him. He's been making mods for a long time. If you cast your mind back like a year, a bit longer, I actually had one of his regulated mods as well. It was green, shiny thing. It was beautiful. Um, it's top man, top man, and he's done a fantastic squonker. That is the SVBF. Um, but this one as well, the SQ Signature Mods squonker is absolutely superb. Like I said before, everything on it is bespoke, you know. Uh, the bottle cap, the button, the doors, the shape, uh, the finish. It's superb. Uh, everything goes down flush. It's got a manual adjusting 510, so you can sort everything out on it nice and flush. But yeah, I'll try and put uh, I'll try and put a link in the description. Uh, fantastic, fantastic mod. Uh, signature mods, check them out. Super duper. This is the best thing they've ever done. Uh, it's fantastic, brilliant squonker. But I'm going to do a video on it as well, I think. I'm going to try and do a video on that and on the SBVF. Uh, Asmodus sent me this. This is the Oni 80 watt mod. Uh, built in battery jobby. It's got like an art deco thing going on with its three circles. Uh, the bottom one being the screen uh it comes with this tank Has this tank got a name Just screw it sometimes the name's on the bottom <laughs> yeah that's right it's called the omelet the omelet or the omelet as i will now refer to it uh the omelet tank from asmodus uh, and the tank is very interesting it comes with 
Can I see the coil head here? It comes with a not point. It comes with a not point four head, which is like your classic middle of the road sub tank coil head. But it also comes with this point eight, which is twenty five to forty watts, and I vape it at thirty three watts, and it vapes like this. What a nice, lovely cloud for a thirty three watt vape, and the flavour is superb, superb, genuine. So very impressed with this. Um, Asmodus board, it's the GX80H apparently. Uh, Asmodus board, it's tiny, sort of quite small thing. Um, what did I say? 2000 mile, I think it is, something like that. Uh, built in battery. The tank's great, the tank's great. I uh, quite like the style of the mod as well. It's got a weird sort of thing on the back. But um, I've been enjoying this, I've been taking it to work, I've been really enjoying it. Um, Oh, yeah, it's a good vape. The 0.8 coil, 33 watts is great. Really nice. Really, really nice. Really impressed. Um, so the Oni 80 watt kit, uh, that is in the queue as well. Next, next is this. This is going to be a bit of a head spinner of a review um, for most people, me included. Um, this is the uh, Mesh. That's right, Mesh RDA from Vandy Vape. Uh, there we go. There it is. Look, see, so you, th that mesh there, that's the coil. That is the coil. Uh, they come with various uh, mesh meshes <laughs> that you can use as coils um, in the pack. Stainless steel, NI, and uh, Canthor. This is a Canthor one. I'm, I am working my way through it. It's taking a lot of testing. Um, and I think there's a break in with mesh using mesh as a coil as well. So I'm trying to get through that stage with it all as well. Um, I know, I know Rip Trippers has done a video for this just the other day or just this morning or whenever it is, I don't know. Um, and he said it was brilliant, <laughs> which, which is what he does. Uh, what I would say is so far i'm still working on it out the the rda is very well put together and you can use normal coils in here anyway so that's the thing so the rda is pretty solid uh but the using the mesh as a coil thing uh still working my way through it i've got a few observations though straight off the bat uh it takes quite a lot of power you have to hit it with quite a lot of power to get what you're expecting out of it that's the first thing uh vapor production is there it really is let's just uh i'm still getting into it a bit but the vapor production trust me is very very on point very very cloudy indeed um i think cloud chasers are going to really enjoy the vapor production on it um the flavor though and i have tried several ways of wicking it seven ways several ways of building it already I don't think the flavour's there. I don't think the flavour's there. Um, I'm still going to carry on working on it. This is just sort of a first impression, if you like. But I don't think the flavour's there. But that's the RDA. And the RDA's rock solid. No issues with that at all. No beef with that. Um, stay stay on for the review. You know, Don't dismiss it or anything based on, on my first impressions. Uh, I'm still working on it. Still lots of builds and stuff on it. Um, so yeah, I found vapor production fantastic. It takes quite a bit of power to get it going, uh, but the flavour, I don't think the flavour's there like it is with, say, like a Clapton or an Alien or anything like that. Um, just my opinion so far. Uh, we'll see, but uh, that's how I've uh, made of it so far. And I've talked to other reviewers that sort of agree as well. Um, perhaps more honest ones than Rip Trippers. You know, I was a bit disappointed in that video, to be honest, unless he's found a magical way of doing it. Which looking at the video, he hasn't. I think. Um, I, I think he was. I think he was lying about the flavour. To be honest, um, I don't think the flavour is great at all. Uh, but we will see. We will see. We will see. An apology may come in the review. We'll see. Uh, next, the speeder. Where are we? Where is it? Ah, there it is. There it is. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I hope you didn't fall asleep while I was finding it. Uh, this is the Aspire Speeder Kit. The Aspire Speeder Kit. Um, sent to me by... Hold on to your hats. If this bit's still in the vlog, it didn't go well. Okay, 
So this is the Aspire Speeder Kit, and it was sent to me by aspiresigs.co.uk. Um, Aspireesigs.co.uk. Okay, so this is the Aspire Speeder Kit. It was sent to me by aspireesig.co.uk. Link in the description to them. Um, this is not the TPD one. There is going to be a TPD one. This is the normal one. Uh, but they sent it on to me for review. Uh, it's just a big old dual 18650 200 watt banger. It comes with this new uh, tank on it as well. Um, I haven't used it for a couple of days. I have the 0.3 head in here. Yeah, the 0.3 head, 60 to 75 watts. Um, and it comes with an, a much cloudier head as well. And it's a very cloudy affair, should you wish it to be. Um, that, so that is next. So let's not say too much about that. Um, if you remember, it's got, it's got the flip thing. Did it flip then? Yeah, it's got the flippy thing on it, which is cool. Uh, I don't know if you remember the Aspire Archeon. Archon. Uh, mod from Aspire that was very very good and it's got a very similar board in it to that and it's got a very similar thing going on it's just got this very interesting look let's let's put it that way very interesting look yeah crazy little thing well not little it's very big <laughs> but uh, yeah so the Aspire speeder uh, I've got the slider which I haven't even opened yet. I'm sorry. Uh, I've got the Aspire, uh, the Slider RTA from Fogworks UK, US, USA .com. Um So I've got that to do as well. That'll be coming. That's a thing uh, as well. And I've got this too. I've got this also from Vandy Vape. Uh, this is the Pyro RDTA. I have no idea what the crack is with this. Uh, you take the top off like that, and it's got like a postless thing going on. It's got huge wicking uh, holes here. So I think it'd be a cracking vape. Uh, postless style. You've got to put the... Uh, got to put it back down on the tabs there like that. Uh, it comes with an Ultim Aura Glass tank as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I've got it on there. I've got it on there looking like that. I don't know. Does that look good? I don't know. Um... So that's the thing, that's RDTA, that won't take long to sort out. Uh, that's the Pyro RDTA from Vandy Vape, so I've got that as well. Are you still here? Are you still watching? Um, <laughs> uh, I've also got this as well, uh, new in from Joytech. They did the Q-Box, they did the Q-A-I-O, and they've now done the Q-Box A-I-O. So this is now the box all-in-one version. The other ones had a tank on top and all that stuff. This one has the tank built in. And I can tell you straight off the bat with this, uh, I was messing with it last night. It's got a really nice mouth to lung vape on it. Close the airflow off and it's got a really nice mouth to lung vape. Uh, open the airflow up. Nice restricted lung hit as well. It's got the battery indicator on the top like the other ones do as well one two three four five there we go off uh yeah I, it's a shame they sent me the black one it's not going to show up great on camera but um oh it's great really really good this is great this is a contender for best aio in my opinion uh the coil i don't know what they've done with these coil heads i haven't looked into it all yet oh no is it uh i haven't looked into it yet but uh i'm telling you what it's uh I think it's the best AIO vape I've had. Um, it's great. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Um, so I'm quite excited to do that. It'll be a quick look on that because uh, that's what I do with those things. If you haven't noticed, um, the all-in-ones, the starter kits, uh, simplistic gear like that, um, I do a quick look. I think it's very important that we keep making videos for these things uh, because there's going to be smokers checking out videos of these things and I want to keep doing that uh, and I, I, I think more reviewers should do that. A lot of reviewers turn their back on that sort of stuff. Um, but because we're all experienced vapors, the majority of the people watching will be experienced vapors. I don't think it needs like the up close time and breaking apart. I can very quickly explain how it works. And so I just do the quick looks on those. And I think they're a good thing. I think they're a good thing. Even if they don't appeal to the mass audience or whatever, don't get view. I don't get, give a monkey's how many views things get. 
um, I just want to keep doing things that might be helpful. <laughs> and I think those quick looks on gear like that is really helpful. So that's the thing. That's the thing. There'll be a quick look on the Cubebox AIO from Joytic. Hey, I've also got this to review. I don't know who sent me this. I've forgotten. Um, it was one of these uh, big Chinese websites. Uh, this is the Captain PD1865. This is the eight dual 18650 version of this. The big boy, the Captain PD270. So this was the uh, 2700 battery version of this mod, and they've now done this, the 18650 version of this mod. As you can see, quite a quite a bit smaller. Now, height-wise, you can't really see too much difference, uh, but if I show you that, it's quite a big difference. It, this one is a big old thing, and uh, this one is a, a lot smaller in the hand. Um, I think this was very good. I liked this. I've still been using this quite a lot. Um, and this looks to be as good. Uh, so if you want the smaller one, you want 18650s, not 2700s. This is going to be the one for you. And uh, so far, so good on that. More testing required. But it's very good. It's very the, the original one was very good. I'm expecting that to be very good as well. Uh, so that is that. Uh, 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 uh. Last one. Oh, <laughs> Uh, last one, the last. This is the last one uh, to show you. And again, this is so far down the queue now. I'm not even. I've not even used this stuff. I don't like to cloud my my um, opinion on the stuff that's close to the top of this by using everything. I like to keep it quite simple. Uh, so I haven't actually been using this really yet. Uh, but this is the Thermo RDA from Inikin, the 27 millimeter version. Um, basically, it's um, a brand new RDA from Inokin. Uh, it's got the undercoil airflow thing going on. Also got uh, airflow at the top as well. Um, and it's just a big old unit. It's got a glass top. Uh, it's very interesting. I don't know how that will hold up to vapor. Don't know whether it'll just go foggy. Um, but it's also got a very interesting airflow thing going on. So uh, in the brass bits at the top, or gold plate bits, whatever it is, they've got very unusual air holes. <laughs> uh, so it creates sort of a bit of a... I don't know if you can hear that. It doesn't sound typical, does it? it almost sounds like that turbo idea <laughs> uh, that had the fan in. You know, it's got like a... So they're doing something with the air, and it'd be interesting to see how that goes. Also, you know, I've never had such a big RDA. 27 mil is the biggest RDA I've come across personally so far. So that'll be interesting as well. I've put some. Um, well, I'll show you. I've put. I've put the coil. I've put the coils that came with uh, some spaced fused ones. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how those go. Uh, one thing straight off the bat, though, without vaping it, I can say is, if you're doing under coil airflow. I'm not sure why you need such a big RDA because there is an absolute definitive limit to how much power you're going to put through something that has the underflow air thing. If you look at the very popular big RDAs, they're all the side airflow, they're all cloud chasing. You know, the only reason to make it bigger is to get bigger coils in, bigger wicks in, more juice in. And the only reason to do that, you know, is if it's a cloudy thing, and if it's got the underflow, it's not going to be that cloudy. Um, just an observation, you know, if you're designing an RDA, things to consider and all that. So that's the end of the queue. Let me just pull up my previous... I don't know how long this is. It feels long. I'm knackered. Um, let me just pull up my uh, things I've reviewed so far, just to give you uh, a rundown, see if there's any things I need to recap on. Uh, the Tesla WYE is awesome. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Please do one. Tesla, please do one without blood splatter or paint splatter um, or whatever. It's a thing. Sinuous SW, uh, no, nothing wrong with that at all, just not my style. Uh, Pulse 24 RDA is brilliant. Really brilliant RDA. Got it on my squonka. Using it all the time, it is awesome. Pulse 24 solves all the problems I had with the 22. It's ace. Um, so that's that. Uh, the Cuboid Pro, if you watch that review, maybe worth watching someone else's because that was not a good review. Um, go and check out someone else's. The Penguin SE, 
I, I, I reviewed that very quickly. It was a quick look, and I hadn't had it that long. Uh, looking now at feedback from more people on the Penguin SE, it seems like it's the same situation as uh, the previous Penguin. It's a very Marmite device. Some people are loving it. I know Inky John from Vapors Worldwide uh, is enjoying his Penguin. I'm enjoying my Penguin. I think they're great, but there's a lot of people who really don't like them, really not got on with them for whatever reason. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, some people aren't digging it. Some people aren't digging it. Some people are. Uh, so, it seems like the same. Penguin SE seems to have had the same response as the original Penguin. Uh, but I really like it, so there we go. Um, the Chroma, the Chrome A from Inokin, I think is brilliant. It is my official main work vape now. I absolutely love this Creos tank. Uh, I love the Creos tank and I love the mod and it is I'm I I love this kit from Inokin. I think it's brilliant. Suits me right down to the ground. 45 watts work vape. I can plug it into charge at work anyway. I'm really happy with it and I really like it. Uh the D Pro RDA. Um where's that then? There. D Pro RDA that I've got on my SVBF. Um the D Pro RDA, I still love this. I still prefer it as a single coil RDA, I, but I know a lot of people are using it as dual coil. So I shouldn't have dismissed the dual coil element as uh, quickly as I did in my review. Uh, it's perfectly legitimate dual coil uh, RDA, but not in my opinion. I like it as a single coil. The reason being, not enough airflow for dual coil. It's as simple as that, but... Uh, But I still really, really like it. I still think it is brilliant, and I really like it. But I like it as single coil, but some people are using it as dual coil. So if you dismissed it on the single coil thing, check out some other reviews. Mm. Lovely vape. A lovely vape. Uh, so links in the description to a lot of the things I've talked about. Don't have time to cover anything else. Oh, a little note, a little side note. Um... I'm not going to talk about this YouTube demonetization thing. I really don't think it's your problem. <laughs> and uh, if there's other vape reviewers watching, keep it to yourselves. Let's let's work it out together. It's a YouTube and us thing. It's not a viewer. For, it's not a viewer problem. Fucking leave it. Leave it. To, you know, it's we're a, it's a vaping thing. We're talking about vaping. I'm talking about vaping. I'm not talking about that demonetization thing. It's a much of a muchness. It is what it is. And it's certainly not your, the viewer's, problem. So I'm not talking about it. Uh, there we go. And that's not a dig at anyone that has talked about it. I totally understand. For some people, it's devastating. But um, it's not why I do it anyway. And it's not, not a big problem for me. And I don't get many views anyway. And so I don't get much money anyway. So it's not an issue for me. Not a big issue for me. But even if it was, I still wouldn't talk about it on my channel. Because it is not your problem. Uh, and that's I'm not trying to go out on a sour note I'm not trying to stir anything up there that's just my take on it I really don't see why it's the viewers issue at all um, and these sort of things have a way of correcting themselves as well anyway so long vlog because the queue is so long and there's some things that got bounced out of the queue for the vlog as well so that's that uh, uh, what was I vaping on when I started this whole damn thing I was vaping this <sighs> I don't know if this was enjoyable watching or not. I'm really sorry if it wasn't. Um, as you can see, I'm a bit snowed on down because of school holidays. It's very hard to get as many reviews out as I would like. Um, but I hope this gave you a nice rundown of what's coming up on the channel. A few things to talk about. Remember, your comment may be read out on the next vlog. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. I'm Vim Vic, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching.